Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first video of this channel. In this video we're gonna paint three fantasy landscapes uh, and this video is part of a series in which I'm going to try to learn how to paint. I can paint a little bit, I can draw a little bit, but I want to increase my skill. Um, I'm doing this for quite some time now. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm painting, sort of drawing and painting on and off and hopefully this is gonna help me improve my skills and it hopefully gives you a nice look in 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 the process of of, of getting better at, at something uh, and getting better at art uh, so we're gonna paint three fantasy landscapes i started with some random shapes well not entirely random but i had a, a brush set to scatter as you can see and i threw in some colors shapes i didn't really have a plan on what to draw uh, just landscapes so um let me, uh, by the way, let me check if the audio is recording. Yes, the audio is recording. Sorry for that. Um, so I didn't really have a plan. I just wanted to paint some landscapes. And uh, yeah, so I threw in some shapes. And from that shapes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull, uh, pull out the, the rocks and the mountains and things like that. Um, let me see what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this uh, video, uh, about this painting a little bit. Uh, it's it's part of a series. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the channel after that, I think, uh, and then some technical issues. And it's probably gonna be a lot of random um, blabbering about painting and moving and things like that. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you have any comments, any questions, you can post them down below. If you are interested in this journey, then I'm gonna try to uh, to undertake uh, you can subscribe to the channel I will try to post one video each week uh, maybe in the beginning it's gonna be a little bit less um, but I will try my best to to produce enough content right from the get-go to to have one video each week and it's not gonna be a painting video each week uh, it's probably gonna be painting sketching uh, things I do to improve uh, maybe some some exercises that we find on the internet some challenges things like that uh, so if you're into that please subscribe uh, if you have some, any tips uh, let me know post them down in the comments and uh, yeah hopefully we can uh, we can get uh, on this epic journey together uh, yeah that's that's about this channel this this video is part of a, a series well I'm gonna start this series off with this video and it's gonna be learning how to paint I think I'm gonna call it uh, probably in the title um, and this is the first series this is the rough painting uh, I drew oh, I painted three paintings three landscapes um, each took about well it, it the last one took the longest in total I, I uh, was painting for one hour and 15 minutes so it's sped up about two and a half times uh, I'm using Photoshop. Photoshop she is 4. It's actually a quite old version of Photoshop. A very old version. Actually it's 10 years old I think if I recall correctly. And I'm also using a very old Wacom bamboo tablet. Uh, but as you can see that it doesn't really matter what tools you use. Uh, you can make anything from it. My skill level isn't that high but uh, the tools aren't really uh, hampering me. Uh, it's it's mainly my own confidence that is uh, a limiting factor here. Um, the paintings are 5,000 pixels wide. I don't really know the height of the pixel. It's a 240 to 1 uh, ratio. That's a movie uh, ratio. Um, as you can see, the brush is really looking odd and weird. That's because of OBS. Uh, it has a bug when recording Photoshop. Uh, I fixed that later down the line. In the line in the third painting, uh, the brush issues should be over, if I recall correctly. Um, as I said before, this is the rough painting. I am also recording. I already started on refining the painting, to, uh, and the refining process is uh, is taking quite a bit uh, longer than I expected. I already recorded one hour of it, and I. I've done like one third, maybe even a little bit less. So I'm not sure how I will put that in a video. I probably will speed it up as well. Well, I will speed it up, but 
uh, I might not put everything in painting. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I drew some, uh, I painted some mountains, and now I kind of want to do some uh, man-made structures on the mountains to to give it a really a real fantasy look to it. So there's a maybe there's a little bit a little city, well not a city, there's a big city on that uh, rock there, a big rock uh, outcrop, uh, and maybe along alongside the, the the mountain or the rock or whatever you want to call it, there are houses. So they're stacked up against the rock, and maybe there's a path leading down from from the city under the rock, all the way up to the rock. And maybe the poor people live live down and down in the valley, and the rich people live up safely uh, on the rock. Uh, but th these are not very well defined yet because it's it's fairly rough. I'm, uh, I'm putting down some towers and. Hopefully, when we refine the painting, we can we can actually refine uh, that as well, so you can really see that it's uh, that it's a village over there. So working uh, on the mountains in the background, a bit of uh, yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> whether I should put snow on the mountains. Uh, the landscape is not really deserty, more uh, or tundra esque or uh, plains. So yeah. You could have snow in the, in the distance. Um, let let let's see. I'm I'm using no custom brushes here. I'm I'm using the default Photoshop brushes. I custom well. I should not say that I do not use custom brushes because I customize them or modify them. Uh, but these options are all just default available in Photoshop. Uh, adjusting the size of the brush, but also the the width. The, the angle of the brush you can you can all, you can modify all uh, sort of things there. Um, I'm also using a texture in the brush if I recall correctly. Um, but there's no no brush that I downloaded off the internet. It's just default Photoshop stuff, and it's a fairly old brush. Uh, I'm not sure whether uh, which, which kind of brush Photoshop has these days, uh, but I think the options are. Uh, there are a lot more options nowadays than, than there is with uh, CS4. I really should see if I can get my hands on uh, Photoshop. Here I'm starting with the, the second painting. Uh, I did a deserty landscape and now I kind of want a grassy landscape. If you look at the, <laughs> the top right corner there, you can, you can see me picking up the colors from the swatch, which is over there, but OBS doesn't record. It only records the, uh, the window, which I paint. So if you see my my mouse my cursor goes go to the right, uh, it's because there are some windows there uh, with the layers and stuff like that. I'm also uh, well. I, each each painting is on a separate layer, but no no layers whatsoever after that. Just separate layer per painting, so three layers. No four layers in total, uh, or actually five. The background, the border, and then three layers for three paintings. Um, I, I like to keep things rough um, for my paintings. It gives a bit of a traditional look, and as you can see, I um, I started the second painting. I didn't really have any idea. I just wanted to to make it a little bit of green and a bit of grassy and some nice uh, rocks as well. But if you know, if you look closely, no, you don't look closely. If you look at this painting, you can see. Position is actually exactly the same as the painting top, uh, uh, as the first painting. Uh, I didn't notice this until I almost finished the painting. It's like I made two, two exactly the same paintings, and then I decided I I wanted totally something totally different for the third, but that was actually quite difficult uh, because my skill level is. Mm, let's say acceptable, maybe, uh, but I, I lack a lot of confidence, and that's that's why I I, I decided to uh, to start with this. Hopefully, it it gives me a reason. It keeps me motivated and gives me a reason to uh, to keep painting, and that will hopefully increase my uh, my confidence. And uh, yeah, that way I can improve as an artist. Um, 
and not only as an artist but also as a content creator because I, I don't just like to paint and create art I also like this this content creator part but it's proving to be quite difficult because I am not even halfway yet and I still have to talk about a lot of things and I don't really know what to talk about just yet Let's talk a little bit about the painting uh, and take a, I, I took a sip of coffee there. Um, I'm, I'm separating the yeah the, the, the rocky bit uh, from the foreground by uh, by creating some fog to get some atmospheric depth in the painting. The shape of the rock, uh, I didn't really know what to do with it. I kind of wanted to make it a, a structure. As you can see, Photoshop is, is lagging quite a bit while I'm recording. Uh, my my PC is actually quite powerful, but but recording and and doing Photoshop at the same time it's it's quite difficult for uh, for him to uh, or is it a her it's a him uh, to keep up. But he's doing it. Um, I put in a, a in a river to to kind of get the uh, get a nice nice flow in the in the painting. I, I like rivers, but I also find them quite difficult to paint. So uh, I wanted to uh, to practice that a little bit more. So just put in a river to be able to uh, to practice that. Um, and yeah, that's that, that's what this channel is about. It's about me uh, practicing, getting better, and showing the process. I I don't just want to to post uh, finished stuff. I kind of want to let people know process behind it, the work that you have to put in the effort uh, because when you see a lot of art from artists you see the finished product and uh, that can be disheartening uh, at least it was for me when I am I, I, I paint my whole life basically now I'm not painting drawing I, I've, I've drawn my whole life um, but so I'm, I'm at a, a certain level but I kind of want to continue growing but it, it, for some reason, I, I've, I find it really hard to, to, to get motivated because I, I lack quite a bit of confidence. But the only way to get that confidence is, is by producing stuff, by, by making stuff, by painting, by drawing. So that's why I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, gonna make videos about it. Not, not everything, but, but, but I wanna sort of record my, my journey from, from starting out like this to hopefully becoming a, uh, an artist and make it my, my work, my job. Currently it's just a, a hobby, um, which I really enjoy. Uh, but if I can make it my, uh, my full-time career, that would be lovely. Um, so, and I, and I hope that, that other people will get motivated by it as well. Because I know it's, it's, it can be quite hard to motivate yourself when you're just at your own and you want to get better, uh, but you don't really know how. And you, know where to, you don't know where to start and when you start to draw it, it doesn't really look right. and That, that can be disheartening. Uh, but you know, just put in the hours, put in the effort. Uh, maybe start with just a couple of minutes a day. I, I recently learned about this method. It, apparently it's from Japan. When they, when they want to learn a new habit, they don't dive in head first. You know, they, they, they start small. They start with one minute a day doing it. And after a, after a while, that one minute grows into a couple of minutes and maybe even a couple of hours. It's actually quite a lot easier than to start uh, straight with a couple of hours. Here you can see me deleting that uh, that mountain over there, that structure, because I didn't, I really didn't know what to do with it. So I thought, you know what, I need to get rid of it and put in something else. So I kind of recreated it in a castle. The, the composition doesn't really change with it. It's it's still almost exactly the same as the painting above it. But uh, it, it, it feels a lot better this way. I kind of like those rectangular shapes. Uh, I also like those shapes for rocks and mountains. Uh, 
So I'm gonna I, I'm I'm putting those in quite frequently. I probably shoot axes a little bit more with different rocks to uh, to get some more shapes. <laughs> because I, we don't we don't want every painting to to look the same, of course. Um, but I was talking about about putting uh, putting in hours and 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 learning a new habit. Uh, about the Japanese method. Yeah, they start with one minute a day each day. That's that's really easy, you might think. Yeah, it is. And that's why you can keep it up. And that's why you can stand to enjoy it. And then a couple of days you, you may do it for five minutes. And a couple of days after that you may even do it for a, a quarter of an hour. And yes, to, to become good at something, you have to put in hours and hours and hours and hours. And of course, you will improve faster when you, when you put in more hours um, in a day than when you put in one minute in a day. But it can also be a downfall. If you have to, if you, in your mindset, if you, if you think I need to paint six hours a day, but you have a very busy schedule, you don't really know how to put in those six hours. Uh, here I'm standing on the third one, as you can see, uh, which is probably going to be quite a bit different. Well, that's the plan, at least. But if you if you if you don't know how to spend six hours with it, then you 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 instead of spending six hours, just one hour, or maybe if you can't even spend one hour, do do fifty minutes, and you never know when your schedule breaks open and you can spend more hours on it and every quarter of an hour that you spend now you don't have to spend later you, I mean one minute of improvement is infinitely more than no nothing of no minutes of improvement so to speak so yeah that's that's an important lesson that I learned because I I I'm not really in a position that I can spend 10 hours a day on this. Um, so that got me really demotivated. Uh, I was thinking, yeah, I never can do this because I cannot spend 10 hours a day doing it at this point. But I might in the future. Uh, so I was kind of waiting for that moment that I, in, in which I can spend 10 hours a day. But that moment may or may not come. It may come, but when you when you have to start painting, at that point you're you're already too late, I think. Because uh, if if I do it now, and the same goes for you, if you do it now, you have this this track record that you that you uh, that you can uh, that you can use to improve, and then you can spend the ten hours a day using your improved skills to to get even better. So any every 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 minute is is worth it, so to speak. Uh, so even if you cannot spend sixteen hours a day, uh, and, but you still want to do it, don't don't get discouraged. Just do it. Uh, so I'm, I'm here. Uh, this is quite a, a bit different. I, I thought, you know what? Why don't we draw giant mushrooms? But I found it quite hard, quite difficult. I didn't really know what to do with the color. Uh, I had this this composition in my head, uh, but it really so far it 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 didn't really turn out. Well, I, I found it really quite hard to to connect the background with the foreground and to to find the right colors. Uh, so that, that that's why this this one took the longest to to finish the rough one. And even after I finished it, I still wasn't really pleased with it. But I first I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of it. But then I thought, you know, no, 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 that's not how I wanted to roll. I wanted to show everything, even the stuff that I that that may not be good or that I don't like. I mean, it could still be good, but that doesn't mean that I ha have to like it. Even you can even hate good stuff, a perfectly looking painting. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling quite a bit with this one, but I, I decided to keep it in. It's still there. Uh, I'm refining it uh, as well. I am thinking about ditching it, but maybe I just shouldn't do it. Maybe even if it turns out bad, you still learn something from it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
I'm going to try to keep it and use it as a learning process. And that I'm not sure if that will be next video, next week's video, or the week after that. I'm, I also want to do some videos on sketching and on how to improve sketching and how to start drawing, uh, because that was something that I struggled quite a bit with. With I, I wanted to draw, but I didn't really know where to start and uh, what to draw. And then I found this. Uh, well, I find this. I'm I'm, I'm following this uh, uh, FCD school, uh, Peng Zhu Design. I don't know if you know about him. I will link uh, his channel with the recommended channels. It's somewhere on my channel. You can click that. Um, he's a concept designer, and he's also making YouTube videos about making uh, concept art and drawing stuff and things like that. He has a school in Singapore. It's a really cool channel. Shout out to him. Um, and he posted this video a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, I think, uh, about just draw and on what to draw. And he said, you know, you, you need to start with simple things, start with the rocks, drawing rocks. And that really opened my eyes because uh, when you draw a rock, uh, even if you're slightly off with your angles and things like that, your perspective, Nobody's gonna say that that rock isn't right. That that can not possible. That cannot be like that. Uh, when you take the reference away and you show it to someone, they, they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's actually quite a good-looking rock." So, I I spent quite some time last week, uh, the last two weeks, um, drawing rocks, and I printed them out and I stuck them to my wall, because that's also a tip that he gave. Uh, surround yourself with creativity. Print out your stuff. Hang it on your wall. And that way you can look at your stuff and think, you know, I, I created that, I made that. And that gives you confidence, that boosts your confidence for your next painting. So that's what I did. I started to draw rocks and it turned out actually quite okay. Uh, he has this list of progressive steps. I'm going to give that list right now. I wrote it down. Uh, start with rocks and then go to trees. And then go to animal bones or skulls. Um, then go to bugs. Bugs are actually quite cool. So we're gonna maybe maybe next time. I think when when I'm gonna do some a sketching video, I'm I'm gonna do animal bones and skulls. I think I'm at the skill level that I can pull that off. Um, maybe the bu maybe even the bugs. Uh, and then go slightly more difficult. Go to big animals without fur. Uh, like uh, a tortoise or a, a hippo, things like that. Um, and after that, go to old historic buildings, uh, just stuff that 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 you can. Well, you can still mess it up, but it, it gradually uh, increases in difficulty. And it because it starts out quite easy, you build up uh, quite a lot of confidence. And 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 I've noticed that uh, that that the the tenth rock that I drew was actually a lot easier to start with than than the first one. The first one you're like, oh, I put this line here or there and it's actually quite tense and once you start to draw and you draw more and you draw more, uh, it, it's starting to get quite easy. So that's a, that's a really good tip there. I'm gonna use that for, uh, for my channel and uh, when we do uh, sketching uh, we're gonna follow that, that that line. I'm not sure whether I start with rocks. I think I, I will start uh, a couple of steps higher. I think I got the skill level to do it. I just don't have the, the confidence yet, so I really want to use it as a confidence booster. And hopefully that will inspire you guys as well to uh, to use these things to uh, to boost your confidence and to just draw and paint and do things like that. Uh, we're almost at an end here. Let me check. We still got a couple of minutes, about two minutes, a little bit more, I think. Um, so I'm using my uh, my tool, my marquee uh, marquee tool with uh, uh, sets to uh, circle to uh, to to get in some uh, some more mushrooms because I want this this forest, so to speak, to be full of mushrooms, and it's really. It's quite difficult to, to individually paint all 
all these things and to get them uh, nice and round. Since they're round, we can use uh, Photoshop's tools to uh, to, that, uh, to do that. That can, could also be a, a nice challenge for later uh, paintings. Use just use the lasso tool or or this tool to uh, to make an entire painting. Because that's that's also something that I want to do in the future. I want to do some challenges, uh, experiment with uh, different brushes. Uh, maybe use just use a default round brush and modify that in certain ways to to get the effects that I want. Um, but we'll see. Um, this video is uh, going to end very soon. I hope that you don't mind that I'm rambling about random stuff. I hope uh, it's uh, it's okay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just to remind me, post them in the comments. If you like this video, if it's if it's a help. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, yeah, next video I think we'll be sketching, and the video after that we will refine these paintings. Maybe it will be the other way around, um, but I'm not sure yet. It depends how long it takes me to find these paintings. I'm gonna try to refine them all three. I'm gonna try to keep the mushroom painting, although I find it quite hard to uh, to refine it and to make something out of it just gonna try it's a learning experience and I hope that you want to learn with me and there we go I'm zooming out to check the other paintings as well I think I'm gonna add some atmospheric fog and then it's gonna end we will get a scroll down of all the work and that's the end of the video thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye